Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. F-stop. Canada, Mexico, or the United States? CSI Shakespeare Sports Quotes Monopoly and Flowers Player One, you start us off. This antitrust act from 1890 was designed to prevent monopolies in American business. Okay, Player One. <laughs> right. <laughs> You get to pick again, player one. Answer, <laughs> it's the yeah. Daily Double. Woo. You are in the lead right now. Please enter your wager. And the Daily Double clue. The East had a monopoly on this material until the 6th century, when two monks smuggled out some worms. You got it. Player one, back to you. In 1930... This man led a march to the sea to collect salt in protest of a monopoly by the government of India. Here is what we wanted. Mohandas Gandhi. Select again. His company's monopoly of steamship navigation on the Hudson River was broken by an 1824 decision of the U.S. Supreme Court. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. Player one, choose again. This corporation's monopoly on TV broadcasting in England was broken in the 1950s by ITV. Player one. Right. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. To apply nitrogen to the soil to aid plant growth. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> You get to pick again, player one. One of the principal offensive players on a soccer or hockey team. The correct response is forward. You again, player one. The name of this Spanish dance form is Spanish for a type of pink bird. Yes, player one. Woo! That's correct. <laughs> player one, pick again. These raised bars on the neck of a guitar help make the sounds of different notes. The correct response is frets. Please pick again, player one. Proverbially, sometimes you can't see it for the trees. Here's the response we were looking for. Forest. Player one, choose again. The Duke's been stabbed then drowned in a barrel of wine. Looks like the drinks are on him. Here's what we were looking for, Richard III. Please pick again, player one. Three dead daughters by poison, hanging, and suicide. I wouldn't want to write the family Christmas card this year. Here's the response we were looking for, King Lear. Select again. Blood spatter says the guy killed Paris, then himself. The girl stabbed herself. Ain't love grand? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> player one, pick again. Witness says he does murder sleep, and the guy okayed the hit on Banquo. But what we have here, Frank, is regicide. Here's what we were looking for, Macbeth. Player one, you pick again, please. Stabbed the king and made him drink poison. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark, and it's him. 
it's player one. Correct. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. Ruled by an emperor from 1864 to 1867. It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. Player one, you pick again, please. It has two official languages. We're talking about Canada. Player one, you pick again, please. The most populous. Player one. You got it. <laughs> you again, player one. It's 90% Catholic. It's player one. That is correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. The largest in area. Okay, player one. Oh. Sorry. We're talking about Canada. Select again. At a dinner, Redskins running back John Riggins begged this Supreme Court justice, baby, loosen up. We're talking about Sandra Day O'Connor. Please pick again, player one. This 1950s Yankee manager said of a pitcher, he don't smoke, he don't drink, he don't chase women, and he don't win. We're talking about Casey Stengel. Player one, pick again. He made Bartlett's with, if people don't want to come out to the ballpark, nobody's going to stop them. Here's the correct response. Yogi Berra. Player one, back to you. This Hall of Fame 1970s Reds catcher was thinking about making a comeback until I pulled a muscle vacuuming. Here's the correct response. Johnny Bench. Player one, choose again. Johnny Logan, we're honoring one of the all-time greats in baseball. Stan the man, him. He's immoral. Here's what we were looking for, Stan Musial. We return to you, player one. El vulgari is the oxide type of this common flower. Here's the response we were looking for, the daisy. Player one, choose again. A bouquet of a dozen sink foils ought to have a total of this many petals. Here's the response we were looking for, 60. Player one, back to you. This Mayflower of the Buttercup family has a C version, too. Here's the correct response. The Anemone. We return to you, player one. This large group of flowering plants attracts serious devotees like those who pay $10,000 for one Peruvian plant. Here's the correct response. Orchids. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. Holding reserves through winter, these globular underground buds let flowers like Narcissus bloom early. Here's what we were looking for. Bulbs. The Full Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Sea Life. Synonyms. Yo Holmes. Jazz Musicians. African Countries. And Latin American History. All right, if you're ready, it's Double Jeopardy time. This white whale related to the narwhal is the only whale that can bend its neck. It's player one. Yeah! Good. <laughs> Select again. Shovel, slipper, and spiny are species of this creature of the order Decapoda. The correct response is the lobster. We return to you, player one. The skin of an octopus contains cells called chromatophores that allow it to do this when excited. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. 
<gasps> no. Sorry. Here's the response we were looking for. Change color. Player one. Pick again. And here's Sarah. Sad to say, walruses as well as elephants were often hunted to get this valuable material. Okay, player one. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Player one, pick again. This herring-like pizza fish is attracted by light, so it's fished at night. Okay, player one. <laughs> you are correct. Player one, choose again. As a noun, it's a synonym for flower. As a verb, it's to blossom or come into one's own. Player one? That's correct. <laughs> Player one, choose again. Synonyms for crowd include throng, flock, and this word that can also mean an infatuation. Player one? Oh. Here's the response we were looking for. Crush. Player one, choose again. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> one of the daily doubles. You are currently in the lead. Player one, please select your wager. Answer. In court, you won't hear a lawyer say remonstrance, but this synonym. Hey, you're right. You get to pick again, player one. Back in the 19th century, ladies didn't faint, but did this five-letter synonym. Here's the correct response. Swoon. We return to you, player one. This synonym for to seclude is also a word for part of a monastery or convent. Here's the correct response. Cloister. Player one. Pick again. Holmes is outwitted by a woman in a scandal in this Central European kingdom. Okay, player one. Oh. Ooh, sorry. That's incorrect. We're talking about Bohemia. Player one. Pick again. In an 1891 story, Holmes solves a mystery concerning a league of men with hair of this color. Here's what we wanted. Red. Player one, pick again. It's the great detective's London address. Here's what we were looking for. 221B Baker Street. Select again. The Napoleon of crime. He attempts to kill Holmes at Reichenbach Falls. Here's the correct response. Professor Moriarty. We return to you, Player One. This dogged Sherlock Holmes novel was published in 1902. Here's the response we were looking for. The Hound of the Baskervilles. You again, Player One. Leon Bismarck Beiderbecke, a legendary cornet player of the 1920s, was known by this three-letter nickname. The correct response is Bix. Player one, back to you for our next selection. His quartet's 1959 LP, Time Out, featured the classic hit, Take Five. Here's what we were looking for. Dave Brubeck. Player one, back to you for our next selection. When Tommy Dorsey died in 1956, this older brother assumed leadership of the Dorsey Brothers Orchestra. We're talking about Jimmy Dorsey. Player one, pick again. Ray Brown, Percy Heath, and Charles Mingus were stand-up guys as masters of this instrument. Here is what we wanted. The bass. Player one, choose again. His What a Wonderful World, recorded in 1967, wasn't a U.S. hit until used in the 1987 film Good Morning Vietnam. Yes, player one. The correct response is Louis Armstrong.
Player one, choose again. In 2009, Jacob Zuma became this country's democratically elected president. Here is what we wanted, South Africa. Player one, back to you for our next selection. The FLN has dominated the political scene in this country since it won independence from France in 1962. Here is the response we were looking for, Algeria. Player one, back to you. Bioko, an island of this equatorial African republic, was once known as Fernando Pu. Here is what we wanted. Equatorial Guinea. You again, player one. The capital city of this Horn of Africa nation has the same name as the country. Here's what we were looking for. Djibouti. Please pick again, player one. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> the second daily double. You are currently in the lead. Player one, give us a wager. Okay, here is the clue. Festus Moge is the president of this landlocked African republic once known as Bechuanaland. Good. Select again. In December of 1980, a junta appointed Jose Napoleon Duarte president of this small Central American country. We're talking about El Salvador. Player one, pick again. In 1957, this physician and patron of voodoo was elected president of Haiti, which he ruled with an iron fist for 14 years. Here is what we wanted. Francois Duvalier. Please pick again, player one. In 1541, Pedro de Valdivia, a soldier of this Inca conqueror, founded the city of Santiago in Chile. Here is the correct response. Francisco Pizarro. We return to you, player one. By the 7th century, this civilization city of Tikal in the Yucatan had a population of tens of thousands. Here's what we were looking for, the Mayan. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. And here's Jimmy. In 1565, Portuguese knight Estacio de Sá founded this Brazilian city on Guanabara Bay. Here is what we wanted. Rio de Janeiro. Looks like you'll be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this commercial break. Time to get ready for Final Jeopardy. And today the category is this. Landmarks. Please enter your way. Let's take a look at the last clue. Some of its pieces, which weighed up to 50 tons, were quarried at Marlborough Downs about 20 miles away. And your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Yeah! Player one, congratulations <laughs> to you. So long.